Hey everybody, welcome back to Wealth of Nations, Arumba's clandestine adventures edition, <laughs> featuring uh, Arumba. <laughs> Hello. As well as Quill, Mathis, and myself. Hello. Hey folks. Hello. My goal by the end of the series is to get every possible permutation of intro that we can do. <laughs> uh, Salzburg and... has left the coalition against me. Bye, Salzburg. Oh good. That Not one promise. Salzburg. <laughs> It was actually like I'm pretty sure that the like minor states in Central Europe are looking around them right now and being like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> so like, there's a war against Saxony right now, and I see a 25 stack exclusively made up of like Central European one province miners or two province miners. Uh, so I think that they're like almost they formed their own league basically, mm. which Quill and I will just tear apart. Yeah. These so fragments. I've uh, I've decided to go on a crusade. Be nice if we ish. like each other, though. Crusade-ish? Yeah, I'm taking over Tripoli. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to go take over Tripoli. That's really good, actually. That would be great if you could, uh, could get into the Mamluks and control Alexandria <laughs> and then divert trade away from Mathis. Although yeah, it would hurt well, you as well. <laughs> well, he's trying to take over all of Italy, and the damn coalition doesn't include the Muslims, so I'll just go fight the Muslims. <laughs> Why not? That's really good. It's something to do. Keeps you busy, you know. Exactly. On weekends. Yeah. I have a spare relationship slot, so I might as well. I do not. But I will eventually. This war Man. almost over. Jesus. Norway got steamrolled. See, you keep like complaining, it, but... but every time you get pulled into a war with France, Mathis, they give you stuff. No, only if the <laughs> land is near me. I don't get anything otherwise. Yeah, I think you're going to get stuff somehow. <laughs> that France gonna, loves me that much. It really is half. a shame. Well, I'm they hoping... didn't pull you in, Arumba, because you could have gotten something from Savoy easily. Now, if I, if I'm I know, hoping that France will join I... my war against Sicily, and then you won't be able to participate. Mm. Like France is at war with Genoa. I have a claim on that. They're at war with Savoy. I have. They're my rival, <laughs> right next to me. Like <laughs> how big is Tripoli? They're not that big. Like, why didn't you call me in? Exactly. I feel left out. I'm sad. Thinking of being left out. Who's not in a coalition against me? Who can I go and abuse? I'm not in the coalition against you. But... I'm not in a coalition. You want to be my ally? I can't. We hate each other. Oh, never mind. Something, something yeah. aggressive <laughs> expansion. Yeah. Oh, right, right. We, we should be getting pretty close, Quill. Oh, I think I, I hit uh, Max improved relations with you. Yeah, I did. I think I, I got close and I needed a, a guy. I'll probably send it back in a second. Eventually. Yeah, it's still pretty bad. Like, you hate me by like... 108. Oh, is that I hate you by 108? Yeah, yeah, and I hate you, you hate still, so I have more right. AE than you do, and I might go and collect some in a sec. <laughs> by might, you mean definitely. The hell, Stratioti, they will be feared by our enemies. 10,000 manpower, 10 army tradition, 17 manpower in Corfu. Yeah, sure. I'll take extra 10,000 men for no reason. Why not? Oh, sounds yeah. pretty good. I wish I had, like, a Casas Belly against Crete. I really do. I just don't. You yeah, should yeah. be able to fabricate a claim over there, shouldn't you? Uh, nope. Can't. Doesn't it? No mm -hmm. pos it has no possible neighboring province to fabricate a claim on, it says. Hmm. They're too far away. That's sad for you. It is. I'm upset. <laughs> What's going on here? Bohemia is at war. The Huns oh. are... Normally, every time I get a pop-up about the Hansa, it's in single player, and I don't care. Now I have to be very <laughs> careful, and I have to like, okay, what the hell's Quill? What's he up to now? Little three province minor, nothing in, nothing going on there. I'm gonna take Lundberg. I'm not. <laughs> that would be crazy. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> okay, that's my Casas belly. What, you're going to declare war on somebody else now? Oh, the Relax. coalitions will have. You're going to declare war on trust. Austria. You're declaring war on me, aren't you? Why would I declare war on you? I don't know. Because you want France to attack you. If I... Yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. That's what I want. I just want to go to war with my greatest ally. Yeah. France, if you could just finish this war against Burgundy, <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> Bohemia would have been annexed by now. But no, you're greedy. Oh, no. Yeah, we know nothing about greed. 
<laughs> yeah, like, this country that, like, ten years ago was an, an enormous European power, I can't swallow them whole until you finish your war. You have 25 regiments just sitting there in Breda. Just move them to Holland. Or, you know, do anything at all with them. These guys. Oh, good. I'll just vassalize the Hess. That'll be a lot easier. What does France want? Limburg. Where is Limburg? Um, press F. It's right next to Liege. <laughs> yeah, press F. I don't press F. I like to improve my geography skills. <laughs> there is something to be said about that. I, I will say you gotta find it first. World by like scrolling in as far as I can go and then just panning <laughs> from left to right. Pretty much. Yeah, are we playing with the option that renames provinces? No. Because if we are, man, does that ever make things confusing? Yeah, you can rename provinces as long as you have a core on them. No, but I mean, there's that option where the, you oh, get the cultural culture names of provinces. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. That might. Um, is that based on the host or is that based on your own client? Uh, the host sets it when they set up the game, I think. Yeah, it's based sure on the that, host. That's in the options menu, isn't it? I don't know. Man, you ask me mm. questions like I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I feel like it was when you set up the game. Could have been. Or, yeah. or something, I'm not sure. So I'm totally going to pick up another 22.7 aggressive expansion. Sweet. For mostly mostly with like the Muslims. Of, yeah. It's the Muslims, though. So. Are you, are you okay. taking over all of Tripoli in one uh, swing? I am going to vassalize them. Oh, okay. I think that makes more sense. I don't have claims on any other land. I justified a trade conflict. Hmm. <laughs> So I don't, It's one hell of a I mean, trade conflict. I know. I just was like, I sent exactly the right amount of ships to go down there and then say, hey, you're taking my trade. <laughs> bitches. And then he declared, but they've got Berber traditions, increasing coring cost, and it's crap province, but still. I don't want to pay that increased double admin point. Yeah. Castile is the papal controller. You could really help us, Castile. Call like a crusade on the Ottomans. Let's just do it. Take them out. I, I I don't think it's time for that yet. <laughs> they don't look that strong. Yeah, it's fine. Now, if I um if I do full annexation and then I release them, will mm -hmm. they be Catholic? Yeah, they will flip to your religion. Yeah, you're gonna install a shadow government. But to do that, <laughs> I'm gonna take even more aggressive expansion. I won't have to pay. I think you burn some off when you release the vassal, but I don't think it comes out to the same. Right. It'll cost me right to to vassalize them outright. It's gonna be fifty diplo points, and that's it. And yeah. then I, later on, I can annex them. If I do full, I have to get 100% war score, but then I'll also pay probably, I would assume, more Diplo points for full annexation. Oh, maybe. I don't know. You sound distracted. That's okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm watching, make sure nothing weird happens. No, I'm trying to think, like, if you do the full annexation, because normally you're paying 50 per province to seed a province. But with full annexation, right. yeah, let's see. I got I got my super piece up here. Uh, oh. No, it's war is over. The war went on too long. What's my it? improved relations dropped, so now I can't so annex Bohemia. I can God go to war. I can go to war with Sicily, and France will join me. Nice. So I don't know. I'm gonna give you <laughs> the opportunity good. to break that alliance right now. Wait a minute. That doesn't make any sense. Why would they do that? I don't know. It's a green check mark. France is a bro. <laughs> uh, they have a 44 trust in me. I'm a uh, Venetian diplomatic reputation and uh, Andrea Griamati diplomatic skill. So you have, I'm giving you the opportunity though. to bounce right now. <laughs> the whole reason that I allied them is because if you declare war on them, I should take over as the war leader and send out a defensive call to France. I'm telling they you right now. They should get the I defensive get it. call first. Uh, it says green check mark is what it says. That it may be one of those situations where <laughs> they will get the defensive call first, trigger that, and then they will have to not accept the offensive one. Like, Hold I don't on, think it's instant. Me... I don't know. I don't know either. Um, hold on. <laughs> God, this game is so complicated. I'm almost done with Tripoli here. And I've got no, no diplomat at the moment. Now right. Poland has 31 troops on my border. But I can't help but notice that Poland is also at war with the Ottomans. Oh, so good. That oh, and they border each other. That's lovely. Yep. Okay. Well, that yeah, they're at war quick. with. <laughs> I was very lucky. 
Oh, I guess as soon as they take, or as soon as they annex, like, Moldavia. Mm -hmm. I think so. They... Mm. Because I think the Ottomans start with Silistria. I'm not sure, though. Mm. Fine. I'm going to dissolve. I'm not going to risk it. That's so good. Gives me so oh. much more time to be safe. What the hell just happened? What? What? What did I just do? You're at war with Tripoli. I just tried to dissolve the alliance, and I think I just declared war. <laughs> You're only no, against war against Tripoli. I dissolved the alliance, and I lost two stability because of it. What the hell? Oh, you happened? had a royal marriage. But that shouldn't matter, though. Dissolving the alliance isn't a big deal. I don't. Are have you a in a war together? You're in the you same were, war. Yeah, you were in the same war. Uh. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks, Mathis. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I mean, you said wait till this war with Tripoli's over. I said okay. I wasn't gonna rush it. Uh huh. <laughs> it's cool. Who needs stability? It's not very good, as I have told you many times. Overrated. Admin points are basically the worst kind, anyway. So. Oh, that hurts my heart to hear you say that, <laughs> even in jest. <sighs> Oh, you think I'm joking? <laughs> I know it's a joke, but I actually I sort of believe it. I just laugh because I'm like, ah, you, me too, right, guys? But they let you core <laughs> things. Also, stability isn't pretty nice. I really do think. Is uh, you can see your aggressive expansion in stability and expansion. Is that it? Or uh, is there a tab? I don't think so. No, like... no, because it's by country, right? So you got to like go to a country and then mouse over your relationship with them, because everyone will have a different uh, view of it. Yeah, that makes sense. Distance. So instead of doing that, I'm just not going to do that, which means that I'm probably going to get myself in trouble, because I'm fabricating a claim on Austria and I'm about to annex Bohemia, which gives me like minus a trillion to the all of the opinions of the HRE. Classic mm -hmm. minus a trillion. And, you have what gonna... five years of regency left? Uh, yeah. All oh, right, I can't declare war. Ah! By the by. Yeah! Oh my god, I put 270 points in a guy who's died at this point. <laughs> I, I hate you so much, Cardinal. <clears throat> What's your face? Yeah. Well, history won't remember him. I don't remember Quick, him. Quick, name your favorite non fictional Cardinal who never ascended to the papacy. <laughs> oh, wait. Uh, so <clears> what do I want to do? I got a... Sorry, peace deal. Need brain. No, no worries, yeah. So, need more for themselves. I thought you said Good. you were taking Tripoli. What happened? Bam. I vassalized him. Oh, okay, that works. Oh, yeah, just... it was going to be... It would have been a 50, 150 Dipple points for full annexation. So, I figured it's an extra 100 Dipple points to make them Catholic. Mm -hmm. I can just convert it myself later. And you're going to become a, um, a kingdom eventually anyway, right? Yeah, I'm kind of working that way. I've got 46 Republican tradition, which is what really hurt. Like, right. I had to buy back two stability, and because of re my Republican tradition was like 50, it was like 300 points. I need military really access. I didn't realize that Thuringia had another province. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Thank you. Oh, they have two. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't realize. Either. I didn't I that that were... Wittenberg and Thuringia were the same. I thought yeah, Wittenberg was an tell. OPM. Yeah, when there's so many like, uh, you know, little plasticine blobs in the middle of Europe right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, Saxony got out of its war? Where's Genoa? Where is Genoa? Oh, there's there's a little bit in Crimea, too. No, because they just, like, entered a coalition against me. Yeah, they're in a coalition against almost everyone. Oh, they're just cranky people? <laughs> we need a king! I'm getting events because of having low Republican tradition. <laughs> This is I your goal, lost, though, right? Yeah, I just lost another 20 Republican, or another 10 Republican tradition or something, and I gained one stability. <laughs> so it's like wow, they're it's voting really for it. Yeah. See, that was my plan. I wanted to become a kingdom again, and then I was going to rely on France to protect Sicily, and then I was going to become a kingdom. I was going to offer them vassalization, which is something you can't do because you can't get... Well, actually, now you can because you can get Republican... You can get royal marriages now. Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, it's just... Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm hurting here. My options are sparse. I trust in you, though. Trust might be strong. Where well, I this, believe this will be the video <laughs> where like 50% of the comments are, "You suck at EU4. Shen's the best." <laughs> <laughs> Everyone says that I suck at EU4. I should go back to CK2. <laughs> it's funny. It is what it is. 
It doesn't matter uh, whose video YouTube. you're watching. There's always yeah. the comments in there of like classic blank. You know, if there's something missed. I can't. Like I was telling Ryan not too long ago, I just can't read the comments on most of my videos anymore. It hurts. Yeah. I can't it's like, not you're read the comments. You're awful at this game. Like, then why are you watching? <laughs> Ryan, how bad do you suck at Isaac? Let's be honest. Oh, I'm like. <laughs> The, the <laughs> popular, popular opinion has come around now. It's like, well, okay, he's not very good, but he tries, he <laughs> tries to good, be entertaining. Though. He's a tryhard, really, is what it comes down to. <laughs> it's like, you might suck, but man, you're fun to watch. I went through a streak where, like, my average in Isaac is probably, like, 50% beating the entire game, yeah. including, like, the, the optional super difficult bosses. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, then... I won like 26 out of 27 runs or something like that. And still like on run 25, like 25th consecutive win, there'd be people like, oh, shake my head. When will Northern Lion learn? <laughs> and picked up like this item before this item, which makes the synergy 5% worse. And you're like, oh, please. Shut up. <laughs> spare me. <laughs> <laughs> and I used to feel bad about it, but then I start reading like comments on ESPN.com where you have like, <laughs> like LeBron James training 12 hours oh, God, a day for yeah. his whole life just to shoot a ball into a hole. And people were like, yeah, you know, he's uh, he's looked a little slow this year, a little sluggish. I don't know. If I were him, I would do blah, blah, blah. Like, <laughs> who, yeah. who are you're you? Right, you're right. The, you know, Derek Jameson, electrician from, like, Akron, Ohio. But he, he's only an electrician because he busted his knee in high school. Oh, yeah. He was shooting triple doubles in, uh, you know, <laughs> freshman year all the time. How come I can't fabricate a claim on Memel? Classic. Uh, the hell? That's weird. Osprus in his cord? Yeah. Oh, no, there it is. Mm. Oh, you know what? Yeah. I think I misclicked and I hit the Livonian order instead. Mm. Who surprisingly still exists. Despite Muscovy and Lithuania and Sweden. Well, maybe we'll do something about that. What, what the hell? Yeah. Saxony left the coalition against me? <laughs> oh, they're effed. Saxony. I was going to say, Saxony's allied with Austria, but well, so what? They'll, they'll probably get back into it in a second <laughs> here. Games of shit. Yeah, exactly. All right, let's see how many people I piss off now. This is this is not going to be a successful game at a certain point because everyone's just going to declare on me. Although, Northern Line, you're doing a pretty good job of distracting people. Otherwise, the coalition yeah. would be everyone against me. Well, that's yeah. the thing is we have each other as kind of a buffer to aggression. Yeah, we all we all have coalitions. <laughs> yeah, it's the AI versus really? the players. Do? I've got you, yeah. babe. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. I've oh, this is really good, actually. Three, three in we my should coalition. Just we should get, like, four-way alliances going and then just steamroll all of the AI in Europe. You know, Northern Line, you don't even have a coalition. You're the only one. Yeah, he does. I I have uh, Thuringia. Oh, oh but then uh, Quill erased them from the map. Oh, so. no. <laughs> Yeah, if it's a one-province minor, if it's one country, it doesn't count. That's it's not a coalition. Lot. Dude, it was a two-province minor. <laughs> you can still Now it's war. not. On a one province minor, if they're in a coalition, it's the same thing. Oh, the Ottomans tearing Poland up. So I'll have you know that I'm making 0.27 ducats a month. Nice, from nice. Vassals. 0 0.07 a month from Tripoli. Hey. It's good. It's pretty good, man. It's a lot of money. A piece off from Sicily. No. No, no. See, I, I just... I said the war was just for one province. I lied. Mm-hmm. I want it all. Or nothing at all? <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> nice nothing. clutch O-Town reference. They don't get enough respect these days. Yeah, I don't know what O-Town is. I only know the line. O-Town, they, yeah, they, they sang that song. That was their second hit after um, Liquid Dreams. Anyway. I really don't know so, that one. I like how you I, know it. It's probably another one of those things. I know it, but I don't know it. That's why I'm invited onto this stuff. Right. So... <laughs> Mathis, how do you have enough money to be doing all this conquest? Because I'm rich as fuck? <laughs> That's a really good answer, if you think about it. You don't make much money, though. You only make 14 ducats a month. Yeah. God damn it, I want to keep improving Osprusen, but every time I look at it, I'm like, wait, no, I can't do that. He's selling all this well, shit. Well, I've, um, I've started fabricating a claim on Poland to work my way over there so I can actually border Osprusen. Um, so that could be good. And I'm assuming Poland's going to be super weak because they're getting their butt kicked right now by the Ottomans. Yeah, like Poland and Lithuania are not even on the map anymore. Or I mean, they're on the map, obviously, but they're not on the ledger for, uh, like, military. Oh, I'm at peace. That's right. I can do this now. Or no, I can't. Ah, oh, it! Military. Armies. Country. 
Poland has zero troops. That's pretty bad for them. Lithuania has... Time for me to dissolve 20, my alliance with Austria. With who? Austria? <laughs> yeah. Look at this. There are only 30 princes in the empire. It starts with like 49. Like <laughs> <laughs> well, like, I also don't have even a very good shot of becoming emperor. So I'm like, I guess I'm just going to take everybody over. Or like, I'll take over all of the princes and then hopefully it'll just be working itself out. Yeah, you got to go for the electors. Well, shall we end this episode? Yeah, I'm in a good spot. Yeah, everything's yeah, sure. awesome. <laughs> Thanks for watching, as always. Again, if you enjoyed the episode, show your support. Click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow after you watch Everybody's Perspective. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. See you soon. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Also, leave a comment. Did you know I read every single comment someone leaves on my video? That's insane. Why would I do that? I don't know, but I'll read yours.